Does this look like your town? Maybe not the courthouse or the square, but the struggles I'm about to show you might look familiar. This community is made up of manufacturing, retail, and agriculture. These businesses are dependent on each other and a sustainable workforce. Employers don't have enough workers to fill orders, and they are concerned because their workforce is aging. Those looking for jobs don't have the skills to meet the needs in their community. I'm so frustrated, I don't know what to do. I hear what you're saying and I agree. It is time that we act as a community to solve these workforce issues. As your elected official, I will bring everyone to the table and we will sit there until we have a solution. As employers struggle to find reliable workforce, Many contemplate closing facilities and moving elsewhere. Losing an integral part of the community's economy would be devastating. Colleges want to solve the skills gap shortage. Employers are invested in improving the community where they operate. But what is the solution? Hmm, technician. <laughs> wow, look at that starting range. But I don't have the education they are looking for. It's the eternal question. Work or school? Job seekers want to job up, but college is expensive and time consuming. They need a job now, but where to start? It all seems so overwhelming. The college struggles to meet the demand for qualified students. Enrollment is down in in-demand programs and budgets are tight. We need to do something. We understand the demands of the community. Like I said, if the employers move from our area, it will be very devastating for us. In Ohio, the answer is found in collaboration. By discussing the problem with peers, stakeholders, and employer partners, a plan is developed. The college seeks grants to financially support the changes. Community colleges are incubators of innovation, but resources can be a challenge. The solution is a $2.5 million grant from the Department of Labor called the TACT Grant. With these funds, the community can not only implement key changes that will build a pathway to employment, they are part of a national network of colleges working on the same problem. The community decided to pilot four strategies to accelerate completion and address employer needs. Curriculum was streamlined, standardized, and realigned to employers' needs. Employer partners do more than sit on advisory boards. They are invited into the classroom to give students a first-person perspective. Classes were converted from 16 weeks to an eight module intensive hybrid format. Every module has a knowledge assessment and a hands-on assessment. Technology was used to accelerate learning. Virtual trainers and simulations allow students to learn course objectives anytime, anywhere. Impact analysis shows that students are learning 10% more in half the time without realizing it. They are able to put together lab work offsite and come onto campus to demonstrate hands-on competencies. Students are able to process through the material at their own pace without being allowed to fall behind. This is due to both academic advising and career coaching. Students are taught skills to manage themselves in their careers while supportive staff help students to eliminate barriers to their education. Traditional schedules no longer work for students or employers. There is an open lab format that allows students to access instructors and equipments on demand. Software was developed to make scheduling easier for all parties. Students don't have to choose between work or school. The open lab format allows classes to be full. Students have access to courses they need to graduate. Enrollment in internship programs flourishes. Now that you have finished your internship hours in the maintenance department, we would like to offer you a permanent position with us. Welcome aboard. I knew nothing about maintenance when I started, but in a few semesters, I had the certifications and confidence I needed to get a job. The school connected me to a paid internship and gave me a pathway to build on what I learned. Now that I have my associate's degree, I'm making enough to buy my first home. We are so proud to take this journey with her. She is an amazing employee, and she keeps encouraging others to go back to school. Small groups and larger communities benefit from a networked collaboration. Grant funds and state contributions only work when individuals with different voices sit at the table and work together to find solutions. Connect with us at nscc underscore at northweststate.edu and join the conversation.